What's up guys welcome back to yet another video you are watching main street tv and i am kk your host and i'm back with your uh, one of the most requested videos in the past couple of weeks that is the upcoming sneaker releases basically in this video i share with you my opinions about various upcoming sneaker releases which are a uh, cop for either personal use or for reselling and uh, we also probably take a look at uh, specifically those sneakers that i expect them to be dropping in india and not just globally so without wasting any more time let's get right into it all right so let's start with a couple of easies because uh, most of the easies are not really interesting that i've been saying from a past couple of videos so we first have the easy basketball knit runner i think it's called it's called easy basketball knit basketball runner i don't know that's a weird name is that uh, sort of a knit version of the quantum that we have as a basketball easy This one is coming in the black colorway, and uh, like every time else, I've told you these are bricks. These are absolutely kind of useless sneakers. I don't really like them at all. They don't really even look good. But since it's in black, it might be a little better. And if you want it for the practicality, then yeah, it is a good sneaker. But talking about resale, these sneakers have absolutely zero demand, and in fact, they don't even sell out as quickly. So yeah, in my opinion, it's a cop for personals for the practicality and drop for resale. Moving on, we have another. Easy 450 coming around in the stone flag colorway. Again, nothing exciting. These sneakers have flopped uh, pretty bad. I mean, it's okay for people to try it for the first time. It's kind of nice and whack, but you cannot really. It's not really a sneaker that you would always wear. You'll be really, really bored of it very soon. So I would say keep your hands off it. If you're a first timer, then you can give it a shot. It's not bad. The colorway is nice. So yeah, it's a drop overall in my opinion. Moving on, we have another useless easy coming out. This time around the 350 compact in the slate worn colorway. Now 350 compact is not really a sneaker which makes any sense to me because after the 350s I don't think anything else is there that can replace it or make it better. But since the 350s do tend to resell at a higher price, the compacts do not do that, so it is a good chance for people who just want it for the comfort. The comfort is pretty much the same on both. So if you do want it for the comfort and the practical use of it then yes it's a cop for personals the colorway is also nice but talking about resale they are bricks as usual and they are not going to have any resale so don't waste your time on that now apart from this i'm not sure if we do have a couple of 50 v2s coming or not but we might see a couple of restocks i'm not really sure which ones are those and we'll also see a restock of the slides but either ways if there's any restock on foam runner or slides i've always said they are uh, cash cows they always sell for minimum double so yeah it's a great great cop now let's move on to some nike sneakers before we move on to the main sneaker that we are expecting in the month of october or maybe early november again there's a sort of a confusion behind it but either ways we'll talk to that when we come to it now let's talk about a couple of jordan 3 4s and 5s that are dropping okay so to start with we have a sort of a nice jordan 3 winterized arco brown colorway it's sort of brown pink and uh, it has those uh, woolen kind of a material which is basically uh, inspired by winter which is why it's called winterized so this sneaker is not that great i mean if you like the look of it uh, you can go for it but in my opinion it's a definite uh, drop for personals as well as for reselling also i think this is a women's sneaker only so it is good for women if you're watching then yeah you can definitely get your hands on those and it will be as it will be easy to cop now moving on we have two jordan 4s expected in this month one is the jordan 4 black cat which is uh, pretty much like the M&M Carhartt 4s and they look really really nice so these uh, black jordan 4s and 3s have been doing really well even the oreos for that matter so i think even this one will do well and uh, therefore i would suggest that it could have a nice pretty decent resale if not much because jordan 4s have started performing better in india so yes if you can get your hands on them then you should definitely buy them they will make you a decent i think 20% margin if not more So yeah please go for that one it's a definite cop for reselling and for personals i don't need to say it's a beautiful looking black jordan 4 so it's a cop now after this we have another jordan 4 which is uh, really really nice in my opinion which is the midnight navy i really like the whole navy and white theme going on in jordans so i think these are going to do really well as well so yes it's a cop for personals and for reselling now moving on we have a uh, nothing great we have a couple of other jordan 4s and 5s but uh, we'll just talk about one which is jordan 6 in the black chrome colorway again all black sneaker jordan 6 i love the silhouette it looks kind of very athletic and nice and it's not very bulky so yeah it's a very very good uh, sneaker for the personals but for reselling there's going to be no demand so there's no point 
Now apart from this we have a lot of mids and lows coming. We have a couple of restocks coming of panda dunks, the black and white dunk high. Then we have uh, some women's mids coming out again in black and white. Now all of those sneakers I've said before also, please do not just go mad behind buying every one of them and trying to sell them out because the quantities have started to increase in our market and uh, it might really it might just turn out to be bricks for you because it won't sell as faster and the weight is not going to be worth it for the amount of return that you get on them so please let them just be available in the market for first timers because the market is still growing and more the people buy i've always said the more sneakers we start getting so yeah those were a couple of mids and lows that are about to come and apart from this we have a couple of dunk lows also dropping in uh, one is in the i think gym red colorway or it's called the usc is the red and white uh, sort of the championship kind of a colorway that we had before championship was called right but it was reverse something Okay, either way, it's black, it's white and red, so it's such a nice sneaker. Then there's a couple of more dunks like the Argen, the UCLA. UCLA might do good because it's very close to Michigan and Michigan has become kind of expensive. So yeah, again, put together, basically all of these sneakers are going to be keep dropping every now and then. And if you like the colorway, only then go for them. Please treat all these usual dunk lows, mid, mids and lows as your regular sneakers for daily wear and not for reselling. Please do not spoil the market. Now apart from this, one special mention is the Dunk Low in the Patent Halloween colorway which is again orange because it's Halloween but it's a women's sneaker so again limited sizing 8 and 9 will be the highest size it might do pretty well because Halloween sneakers do tend to do well in the market because everyone just wants to be a part of Halloween which is why they do sell well so if you do happen to get them then you can probably try to resell them around Halloween but after which it might uh, kind of not sell so think smart, I mean don't just go for it thinking oh you'll double your money it's not gonna happen it's very risky so you rather just leave it for people who want to wear it and go to the halloween parties so yeah these are all the basic usual sneakers that we are expecting in this month now apart from this obviously the topic of the town is the air jar one chicago restocking not restocking a new version coming out it's called lost and found finally after a couple of years i think the last one came out in 2015. now the thing about this sneaker is it's very very complicated we cannot really predict how it will do in the market because it is being said that there are going to be the most number of pairs available in a Jordan 1 ever in recent history and uh, I think even India is getting quite a large stock but but the market here is different I think it will definitely do better than the UNC and the Hyper Oil I mean I'm talking more of a 40 to 50 thousand rupee range because everyone knows there's not going to be another Chicago for more couple of years in the future so everyone is going to hold on to them they're not going to break the price and sell it so i would suggest if you want these sneakers and you definitely buy them around release and not just wait longer thinking the pairs are going to get flooded the price is going to come down it's not going to come down everyone is going to hold it and the price is only going to go up so yeah it's a definite cop for personals and for reselling it's a no-brainer you might have to wait a little longer till the demand kind of drops and picks up again but yeah it's definitely definitely going to Triple your money in my opinion, I mean don't quote me on that, it's just my prediction, you might think differently. So yeah, that's all from me for today, do let me know in the comments below what you feel about all these sneakers that we discussed today. And I shall probably be back in uh, maybe end of November with uh, some more exciting releases because December usually has some nice sneakers coming out. So yeah, if you're watching till here, thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to Main Street, uh, follow our channels on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one, peace.